Hey guys, so here I am inside my, my little shelter I made. I'm going to give you a little panoramic view and then dock you back into the tripod. Uh, yeah, I'll probably just be chilling in here until morning. So here's a look around at it. Excuse me while I flip this around and give you, here's to my left. There's my tripod. Going around to the right, you can see my bedding right here. Scrolling out. And it's at my feet, it's about a foot off the ground. So let's get a nice uh, ventilation going. It's actually quite comfortable in here. I feel very secure. So I'll. Uh, Talk to you guys in a few minutes, I'm sure. Ta. Hey guys. Well, the sun's gone down. It's officially nighttime. And, uh, yeah, now what? I guess now I just sit here. I hadn't really thought this part through very thoroughly. I have been. Let me show you how I've been entertaining myself. Got. Oh, shoot, the lighting's terrible. There we are. Carving uh, chess pieces from some pieces of wood that I brought. There's a pawn that's uh, more or less finished. And here's one that's just started. I'm testing out a couple new knives while I'm out here. Uh, Oh, it's really hard to get in the light here. Uh, I think, yeah, you might be able to see that. This, here we are. Let's see. <laughs> Sorry, I have no idea how to light this. This is the Schrade. There we go. Schrade out the front knife. Out the front because, boom, it pops out the front. Uh, let's see if I can get the light back on me. There we go. Um, yeah, I don't think it was really designed for carving. It's a little unwieldy for that. As you can probably see here, it's pretty fat. Oh, uh, you know what? You probably can't see it. I'll do a review on this when I get back, a tabletop type review. Um, other knife I've been using, which would be great if it wasn't partially serrated. It's actually super sharp, is this new knife I just got. Uh, this is the... It's a bench made, but it's actually made under the NRA uh, label and designed by Ken Steigerwald. I got this. I think it's actually discontinued at this point, but... Oh, look at that glint beautiful. Uh, but you can still get them. I got it on eBay, but they're really available through several different uh, vendors. So anyway, that's one way I'm entertaining myself out here. Enjoying the sound of the crickets. I don't know if that comes through on film or not. And some kind of weird monkey bird. It's like... Kind of. It's kind of like that. Uh, but less monkey-like and more bird-like. So, that's what makes it a monkey bird and not a bird monkey. I, you know, that makes sense to me. So here I am. And, uh, I guess I'll check back in with you later if I've got, uh, an update or something. Uh, so far, just chilling. Taking her easy, you know. The dude abides. Hey guys, how's it going? So, I was trying to get a shot of the night sky for you guys. Sadly, I am in an urban environment, so it didn't really show up. The uh, reason I wanted to show you is because I got this great joke. Okay, so I'll do my best to, uh, to tell it to you anyway. Uh, okay, so, Sherlock Holmes and Watson are sitting, they're camping actually. 
and they're kind of laying there waiting to fall asleep. And Sherlock looks over at uh, Watson and he looks up at the stars and he's like, so Watson, what do the stars mean to you? And Watson's like, ah, well, astronomically speaking, it means there are millions of galaxies and uh, potentially billions of planets. Uh, astrologically speaking, it means that, you know, some of those pinpricks of light up there may be able to predict my future or uh, my love life, etc. Theologically speaking, it means that, that there is a great creator who is all-powerful. And uh, Sherlock just shakes his head and he's like, Watson, where is our tent? Heh <laughs> funny. Later. Hey guys, sorry for the extreme close-up here, uh, but we're in my bivvy, and it's uh, kind of close quarters. <laughs> um, yeah, this is my first chance to use the Snug Pack Jungle Bag, I think is the name of it. And uh, so far, so good. It zips up real good. It's got right above me here. Uh, it's all mesh, so I can see out just fine. Uh, but supposedly, no bugs can get me. So that's good. Being where I am, there are a lot of bugs. I can hear them jumping around and stuff. So, well, this is a total Blair Witch camera angle here, just realize that. You guys, yeah, I better do it. I'm so scared. Okay, I couldn't help myself. I know that's ridiculous. Um, gosh. It's only like 9 o'clock right now, but I don't know what else to do other than maybe go to sleep. Um... It's actually kind of chilly, that's why I got in here. Um, I can't wear my jacket because my jacket is my pillow. That, by the way, was poor planning. So I'll try to think of uh, another way to have a pillow in the future. Uh, if you can't wear your jacket, you might as well just bring a pillow. A real pillow, that is. So, well, that's an extreme up the nose angle there, isn't it? There. That's not quite as obscene. So, um, if any of you guys out there have actually done any stealth camping who are watching this, I'd love to hear about it. Uh, it is pretty fun. i got to say, I'm enjoying the, uh, I, you know, like I, I think I put this up earlier where I actually had some people almost come across my camp. So I got real still, rabbit style. Just froze, and fortunately my... Uh, most of my stuff is either OD green or camouflage, so no worries. They did not see me, and it worked out just fine. Um, I'm going to let you guys go for now so that I don't have to keep holding this camera above my head like this. It's really uncomfortable.